What's up guys, today we're gonna to be doing a day in the life comparison between a men's pro volleyball player and a women's pro volleyball player. My name's Gage Worsey, I'll be the pro men's volleyball player you'll be following along today. And for the women's player, we have none other than Brooke Nuneveller, ex-Oregon alumni, she was an All-American, now she plays in Turkey. We got another banger for you guys, so I'm so excited for you to follow along. Without further ado, let's begin Brooke's day. Good morning everyone. Welcome to a day in the life of a men's and a woman's professional volleyball player's life. Today's one of my busier days. I'm gonna start off with a little serving pass in the morning. We're gonna go to fitness, I'm gonna have a little break, and then we'll have our second practice. But I'm showing you what my morning kind of looks like. I think we're starting the day off with me. Gage, I'll check, check back in with you. I'm super excited, so follow along. Still am an avid coffee lover. So I got a French press and I'm gonna show you the little process. You're just gonna pour it in there and we're gonna close the strainer just above the water line. Pour. Coffee. Enjoy. All right guys, it's about 10 a.m. here. Um, I just woke up. Normally I don't get to sleep in this long, but every other day we have the morning off. So here I am sleeping in to about 10 a.m. Got a busy day today. Got one practice. Got to shoot some stuff for Wilson Volleyball and got a podcast to film. I don't have a big morning routine, but I do do a few things consistently. So let's get to it. First thing, let's make my bed. As you can see, I really don't have any room in my room. It's just one giant bed, and my blanket is not nearly big enough to cover the entire bed, so there's literally no point in making my bed, nor have I ever done that. So, first step's done, clear my bed. Second step, say hello, salute the flag. My brother got me this calendar of non-motivational speeches from Stockholm, Sweden, it's in English. So every morning, I take it off and see what, see what it says next. All right, let's see what I got here. March 8th, 2023. If there's one thing we can count on, it's that we can't count on each other. We're to live by. My brother says I look like a hobo, um, so I'm gonna clean that up, my beard this morning, and then yeah, let's get to it. So the biggest thing about playing overseas is that you need to make sure you have something on the side that you're doing. You have a lot of free time. Like I said, today I have one practice today that I'm supposed to be at. Go to cafes or we're at home and we're working constantly on meetings, whether we're creating content, whether they're coming up for content, especially preparing for the summer. So I have a great circle and I have a lot of good, really good childhood friends on my team as well. So I got a very, very lucky draw this year for sure. But the biggest thing if you wanna go overseas is make sure you have something on the side that you can do, um, like a hobby, consistency. Otherwise, you're gonna be staring out the window, wanting to go home every single day and missing it. So right now we are walking to practice. It's super nice because my apartment it's only about a three minute walk, so I walk every single day, obviously. It's about 53 degrees outside. Yeah, let me show you the gym real quick. Here she is in all her glory. We just walked into practice, and this is always such a good sight to see. Practice is over. I am hustling to my car to drive to fitness, and we're off. Here is our fitness center. Exercises for the week. All done with fitness, and that's kind of the first third of my day, so. Gage, what are you up to? Let's check in with him. We have a shoot for Wilson today for a grass volleyball, so it has to be outdoors. Let me check the weather. It's 35 degrees here and in Lunenburg, and it's cloudy. I mean, luckily it's not snowing or raining because it does that like on a moment's notice here. And then we're gonna have to go out there in short sleeves, board shorts, and act like it's a warm summer's day, but gotta do what you gotta do for the content, baby. All right, we're gonna go with the some shirt first. The OG slunks. And then it's cold outside, so I know my autism pine green sweater. Grass season. Look Anybody you. tell you it's grass season? Look at this beautiful weather. <laughs> We're going out here like 23 degrees. Like this below is freezing because it's grass what season. What do you got on, Joe? What are those? Ooh, let me see the slunks. The Greyhounds. Mm. <laughs> Look at the tank, the tank. Is that grass, Joe? 
It's my grass shower. Let me know what you think of the chain. Should I bring it out this summer? Or is this oh. only a European, European thing? Chains. Chain I mean, the grass is green, so we're gonna play in it. Also, we got a grass level net from here from one of the fans, shout out to him. Um, it's a German system. We do not know how to set this thing up. I, it's I don't even heavy. know what type of net this is. <laughs> also, big shout out to Eustace Photos. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. He does all of our games. He is a beast, and he'll be doing the shoot today. Shout out to him. I'll, click, I'll put the link in the bio so you guys can check him out. It is now 11.30. We're here at the crime scene. With the grass night here. Grass season. Joey, grass season. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Maybe we can host a volleyball tournament here one day. Well, I've never seen this in a... They block out the net right here. It's weird to get on top of, yeah, Joe? What did he say? Hey. Oh. We just finished our photo shoot for Wilson. It's currently one o'clock. We got to be to practice within an hour here, so we can't go back home. So we're gonna go downtown, go to the bakery, famous German bakery, maybe pick some salad or pasta up, but let's go downtown, let's eat some. We're here in downtown Lunenburg here. It's very, very old fashioned, very beautiful town. Maybe I'll go give you guys a tour another time. We're going to the bakery, that's our pasta salad there. Fuel up, because we don't have much time. We're hungry, we're starving. First meal of the day. This is Lunenburg. Here, Lunch with the pesto pasta here. Apple shola, it's like sparkling water with apple juice. Some bread stuff. We're gonna pound this, then we'll go to the arena, probably clean out our car a little bit. Let's go back to Brooke and see what she's up been up to. Okay, now that I'm home, I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. We got protein powders, and I also got this like greens version. Got apples, which fell out in the car. Gluten-free chocolate chip cookies. Gluten-free lemon cookies. Some blooms. Matcha powder, acai powder. So I'm gonna make an acai bowl for lunch. I was gonna make this like poached egg and toast, but that's just too fancy for me right now. I really want an acai bowl. So here we go. Look at it. Come on. This is delicious. Mm. The smoothie bowl was phenomenal. But I usually eat one more snack and then I head off to practice. I will have practice from five to seven today. For the rest of this break, I'll be preparing a little bit for making dinner. I'll also be reading. I'm reading The Assassin's Blade by Sarah Maas right now. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the time. And I'll check in with you guys in about an hour. All right, 6.30, we're just ended practice here. Time to do some content creation. Got the boys out here. We're gonna make another Gwitty video. Check out our TikTok. You guys want to see all the goodies and uh, let's get after it. Hey Is that like just monster. vlog? Yeah, oh, hi guys. <laughs> He's a celebrity in Lunaburg nowadays. <laughs> the Gwitty master. Shooting himself. some content. This is him. Go to the setting position, okay? What about that? We got coach right here. My luck is player! We're about to film here. Uh, this is the final product. Uh, oh no! Our best player! Our best player! Doctor! Doctor! Somebody get a doctor! Now. Yes! <laughs> After having great practice making great goodie videos, and now Joe's gonna get some more food for dinner tonight. Usually we do a little rice, meat, or a little garlic bread, and, and some vegetables, but tonight we're making more pasta. We only usually eat pasta on game days, but Joe's gonna make a new pasta you saw on Instagram, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. So I guess today's kind of gonna be a healthy girl dinner because I'm making this pesto with no Parmesan cheese, and it has like a bunch of greens. It has spinach, parsley, basil. Maybe I'll throw some dill in there. I'm not sure yet. And then I made this cucumber pepper concoction. Super spicy, but delicious. I'm gonna finish eating this, and then I'm leaving for my second practice in about 20 minutes, so I'll see you then. Yeah. 
we just finished practice and the president brought us chocolate. This is a great time to check in on Gage and see how his day is going. I will show you guys the rest of my night later on. All right, so it's a little past seven right now. We just got back from practice. Um, got everything ready. Usually I'm the one cooking. Joe's cooking dinner tonight. So at night is when we do the bulk of our work because it's also when we have the most of our calls. Big CEO Joe always has the most calls. I have a few calls, but you know, I'm just kind of planning content out, getting content, talking with people about content, coming up with new Gwitty videos. Um, but also, Micah just had a huge match versus Lube in the quarterfinals of Champions League. You get all the footage from that match here and edited for TikTok. So for the next couple hours, we're just working super, super hard. Let's get all this footage and get to work here. Dinner is so good. We go absolutely killed with the pasta. Got some tomatoes, got some meat, got some pasta noodles. We're gonna grub up in about 30 minutes here. We have the podcast with Eric Shoji. Again, I'll put the link in the bio if you guys wanna watch our podcast. They come out every Friday, 6 p.m. PST. So if you wanna support the boys, you wanna watch some more follow-up podcasts, comes out on YouTube. We have the link in the bio for Spotify, Apple Music. So if you wanna listen to audio-wise, it's all there. So, podcast time. It's now 8.30. And for a life of a professional volleyball player overseas, that is about everything for my day. I mean, I'm gonna call some family members, read a little bit more since I can't watch TV. I'm obviously gonna eat more dessert, but besides that, that's about it. Thank you guys for following along and Gage, let's see what he's doing to finish up his day. About 10 20 now. Just finished the podcast with Eric Shoji, it is the good one. So just taking a shower, I'm gonna go after him. The weird thing about Germany, or at least our apartment is, it runs out of hot water at a certain time. It's cutting it close, so I might not have any hot water. I'm gonna wrap it up, brush my teeth, and then uh, maybe some more work before I hit the head. All right, it's now 11.10 here. Um, I'm in my kitchen. We have a rule in this house. Whoever doesn't cook has to clean, so the rare time that Joe's cooking, I'm cleaning. So I'm actually just gonna clean the entire kitchen, do all the dishes at 11 p.m., probably clean my room. This is one of the rare days where I'm not working late at night. I'm getting ready for a camp and clinics this summer. We're gonna be in Winston-Salem, North Carolina for a camp. We're gonna be in Davenport, Iowa for a camp. We're gonna be in Sacramento, California for a camp. And of course, we have the second annual four-man grass volleyball tournament in Hawaii. Sign up is open now, so make sure you register if you wanna see us in person, if you wanna be on our social medias. If you just wanna learn a lot of good volleyball. Or if you just wanna learn professionals from some of the top coaches in the nation, that's the place to be. Alrighty guys, so it's about 12 o'clock here in Lunenburg, Germany. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of vlog. Brooke had a very eventful day. I had a very eventful day. I hope you guys enjoy vlogs like this because we'll be doing a few more like this. Actually, I'm actually not gonna go to bed. I'm, I'm probably gonna watch Mandalorian. Usually I'd be working again, but my camera's uploading a bunch of videos to our editors. So yeah, so this is a day in my life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Shoot.